Petersburg doesn't have that kind of money to spend on things like this. David Mueller had trouble containing his dismay when we showed him the amount of money former Petersburg Superintendent Dr. Tamara Sterling spent traveling to conferences during her 15-month tenure with the city school system. But you sure shouldn't be spending $22,000 field tripping around the country. Mueller's son is in the fourth grade at Petersburg's Walnut Hill Elementary, and he said money is extremely tight in the high poverty school district. Some of these teachers are taking their paycheck money and spending it on school supplies for the kids. Other teachers are asking for help. I, Dr. Tamara A. Sterling, do solemnly swear. Sterling abruptly resigned as superintendent in late March, more than two years before her contract was set to expire. Earlier that month, the school system announced that she was on a leave of absence, but never explained why. I thought she was a really nice, thorough woman. I was really surprised. A substitute teacher was actually found guilty of assaulting Mueller's son at Walnut Hill in January. And after meeting with Sterling about what happened, Mueller said he was waiting on a follow-up phone call from her, but said that never happened. I stopped down at the school board where they told me she was in California and, uh, and she would be back. They told me it was at a conference. It was one of five out-of-state conferences Sterling attended between February of 2023 and February of 2024, according to information we obtained through a public records request. She started with the National Conference on Education in San Antonio, Texas in February of 2023. Now, the actual conference was February 16th through the 18th, but records show the school system paid $6,309.02 for Sterling to stay in San Antonio for an entire week. Even if she flew into the conference the day before and flew out the day after, taxpayers still paid for her to stay in San Antonio for three additional nights. Hanover and Henrico's superintendents also went to this conference, but each only stayed for four nights and spent far less money. Then, in late June of 2023, Sterling went to the Urban Superintendents Collaborative for Improved Student Outcomes at the Green Valley Ranch Resort Spa and Casino in Henderson, Nevada. The conference was June 28th to the 30th, but she stayed June 27th through July 2nd, spending $2,713. A few weeks later, Sterling traveled to Orlando, Florida for the SREB Making Schools Work Conference. The actual conference was July 18th through the 21st, but she stayed July 17th through the 23rd. Records show she spent $3,866 on two separate rooms at the hotel for herself, registration, and a rental car that she put 335 miles on. Her assistant for special projects also attended this conference and rented a separate car driving 477 miles while in Orlando. Next, she flew to New Orleans for the NABSE conference where she spent $2,526. And finally, she again traveled to the National Conference on Education, this time in San Diego. The actual conference was February 15th through the 17th of this year, but taxpayers paid for her to spend seven nights there. Records show she spent $4,816 in San Diego, where she booked two rooms at the conference hotel from February 13th through the 16th, even though she was the only attendee. She booked another room at the conference hotel February 16th through the 18th, in addition to a room at the U.S. Grant Luxury Hotel, which she booked from February 11th through the 13th and February 16th through the 18th. Henrico and Chesterfield superintendents also went to this conference, but they only stayed for two and three nights. They were also speakers at the conference and spent much less money. In total, Sterling charged the Petersburg School Division $22,267.59 for those trips. For comparison, we requested superintendents travel expenses in other area school divisions during the same time period, many of which are much larger than Petersburg, and nobody even came close to Sterling's total. In Hanover, the superintendent spent $7,507. In Henrico, $8,974. In Chesterfield, $514.34. And in Hopewell, $1,525. So they just really is no rationale that can be 
used to explain the excess that's appearing in the records that you found. We showed our findings to State Senator Lasheris Aird, who represents Petersburg in the General Assembly. What do you think about getting two rooms at a conference for yourself? Could not explain it if I tried. <laughs> like Mueller, she wants answers about what led to Sterling's sudden departure and why Sterling was allowed to spend so much money on out of state travel. Do you think it's fair to, like you said, professionals go to conferences? Yes, we understand that. But do you think it's fair to book a whole week at the site, you know, when you're only, the conference is only a couple days? For example, not on the, not on the public's dime. When you're talking about adding on additional days or additional time spent, that should not be at the public's expense. Certainly not in a school division like the City of Petersburg, where uh, resources are certainly limited for sure. Travel authorization form shows school board chair Kenneth Pritchett approved Sterling's travel, although for the San Antonio trip, she did not tell Pritchett in the form all the dates she would be staying there and she underestimated the cost of the trip. We've tried to reach Pritchett by phone and email to ask him about Sterling's trips, but he has not responded. The school board chairman will have to have increased scrutiny when approving uh, these um, requests and these expenditures, uh, unfortunately, because of what we're seeing today. The state has an interest in seeing the school division flourish, but from a financial standpoint, this certainly can't go on and you expect the support of the state. I think the school board needs to seriously look into this. The parents in Petersburg care about their kids. We want the best for them. They need to look into it. It's about the kids, not, not blowing money. Now, we reached out to Dr. Sterling to try to ask her about her travel expenses, but we have not heard back. Senator Aird tells me she is now working with the State Department of Education to ensure greater enforcement and oversight of Petersburg schools so something like this does not happen again. I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.